In this tutorial, we will go through the functionalities available in the core module of DWORD. The most important part of this module is the class DeepWord, which replicates all the functionalities available on the DeepWord website. Just like we did in the previous tutorial, which we will link on screen or in the description, first you need to copy your API keys from your DeepWord account and store them in a Python file called config.py. Then log into your DeepWord account by creating an object of the class DeepWord. The first thing we can do is get details about your account. This includes two things the number of credits that you have left, and the list of videos you've generated. You can check the number of credits using account.availableCredits. Here, we see that we have 25 credits left. Next, we can do account.listVideos to get a list of all the videos we've generated so far. The list contains metadata for every video. The most important fields for us from this metadata are video ID and output status. We can use video ID to download a specific video from our DeepWord account. Currently, since the output status shows in progress, we won't be able to download the video. Only videos that have finished processing can be downloaded. To easily download all the videos on our account that have finished processing, we can use account.download all videos. If you look at the documentation for download all videos, you will see that by default it downloads videos in a folder called downloaded videos. You can instead pass your own folder, or even folder tree, as to where you want to store your videos. Next, we'll look at how to use the audio and video samples that DeepWord provides. If you use the DeepWord website, you'll know that we have a bunch of video actors and audio samples for you to quickly test DeepWord. You can do the same using the API. Just download the video actors and audio samples locally, and you're good to go. For this, we will use the functions account.downloadVideoActors, and account.download audio samples. Now we'll go into DeepWord's neural text to speech. This allows for one of DeepWord API's most versatile uses, which is the ability to generate videos of people talking using just text, all at scale. First, we can check the available languages by doing account.available languages. Then, we can check the speakers available for that language by doing account.availablespeakers lang. We can now see that for every language, we have a combination of male and female speakers. We recommend the WaveNet voices, as these are usually much higher quality. While you can test all of DeepWord's voices for free via our website, before making selections in the API, by the time you're watching this, we should have a video tutorial on how to do this natively within DeepWord API. Putting it all together, we need the text that we want our speaker to say, the language that we want them to speak, and the speaker we want to use for that particular language. The output by default will be stored as text-to-speech.mp3, unless specified. We can play this audio in our Jupyter Notebook itself using ipython.display. This is some text that I want this speaker to say. Another thing that you can do with DeepWord is use YouTube videos as video or audio inputs for synthetic video generation. Just copy the YouTube URL of the video you want to use and paste it into account.download YouTube video. The downloaded video will be stored in a folder called YouTube. Again, we can display it in Jupyter using ipython.display. To download the audio, set pass types equal to audio to the download YouTube video function. Just note that if you want to download both the video and audio of a particular video, download the audio before the video, otherwise it will overwrite the video. Finally, you can create your synthetic video by passing a video of the person talking and the audio you want them to say. Optionally, you can also provide a title for the output video. The video will be queued in your DeepWord account. You can either check its status by listing videos or via the website, and then download it once it's finished processing. This is some text that I want this speaker to say. This module also allows for video actors, audio files, and generated videos to be trimmed. For a video file using account.trimvideo, we can refer to the file location and set a start time and stop time in seconds for the portion of the video we want to use. In this example, our trimmed video will start three seconds into the original video and end 10 seconds into the same video. We can also assign a name to this trimmed video. 
When it's complete, we can display the trimmed video using this function. While we only created one video in this tutorial, DeepWord API can be used to create and personalize thousands of videos for your own uses at scale. With DeepWord text-to-speech, one can generate videos for individual customers, sales prospects, or employees based on any piece of data that you have on that individual. Check out some of our other tutorials to learn how you can create basic templates and do this for your own data-filled CSV files, databases, or for how you can apply DeepWord API to your own native applications. We also have more tutorials and other important DeepWord functionalities, and we'll continue to release more on different use cases on a regular basis. DeepWord, video production minus the camera.